Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this high-charged Octane Thor News Asteroid Fight Club episode. If you're new here, I just want to let you know that I've been predicting multiple hurricane landfalls for 10 months. I picked the spots of Hawaii, definitely the East Coast, Florida, and probably Texas. Now, it looks like all my predictions are coming true. So I want you to know, America, you are on super mega high alert for the next seven weeks. We could see five hurricane landfalls. And now I'm not trying to scare the shit from your bowels into your drawers because I don't make jack shit on views. And Google has kept me in a lockbox for four years because apparently they don't want you to know about the weather situation. And I am guessing your government, both parties, don't want you to know about the weather situation. Which is why they threw a Queen's funeral for John McCain the day that it was announced that Hurricane Florence would probably be hitting the East Coast. And then that was followed by an Aretha Franklin funeral and I love Aretha I got mad respect for her but it seemed like from that point everyone in the United States definitely if you're on the coast should be paying attention to this situation because what you are seeing here on the 12 Z GFS is a hurricane with about 170 mile per hour winds raking the East Coast and that would be happening in about six days and so, because of the weird situation, they won't be able to lock it in for another day or two. And by that time, it will probably be too late. This is why I've been talking to you about this storm for 10 days. And I've been telling you that I'm pretty sure it's going west and going to hit the United States. Though I can't guarantee who all these could blow up in a poof. But as you can see here, it's not just Florence. After that, we then have Helene and Isaac. And then we have more waves that look like they're going to roll off of Africa. This is going to be a very nasty hurricane season. It's why this is one of the main reasons. Okay, this is the latest GFS. This is one of the main reasons I gave up my good, great job doing audiovisual work for lawyers getting paid really well, getting really great perks to live this life, to try and get you guys ready for the earth weather changes we would be having. And they are here now. And they will escalate. This is why I've spent 10 months telling you guys we could wake up and see four hurricanes in the Atlantic that are a threat to the United States. Now, I don't think my message has sunk in as you can see here, and I gotta apologize, I hadn't been sleeping much in the last five days. The universe just made me fall asleep. And so I woke up. I've been working on a edited video here. These take forever though. So I couldn't finish it in time by tonight. And I think but I mean it just goes to show that there's rain everywhere, man. There's this is major flooding in Texas. Um you have major, major flooding by the Great Lakes. The Great Lakes are overflowing. You have a lot of the rivers are overflowing. The East Coast is totally saturated and flooded in some parts. You know, the, the Gulf, the Mississippi that just got hit by Gordon. Gordon is not done. It is majorly, massively flooding. India has millions of people displaced. Japan has millions of people placed. The, Japan's been hit by multiple typhoons. There was an 8.1 earthquake today in Fiji. And so, I mean, some of the, the waves on, I mean, I mean, it put a airport underwater. And when our government is sitting there talking about anything other than the weather situation, you have to know that they don't have any plans for us. We have to work together. This is an, this is an airport, a major airport in Japan. 
almost totally underwater and the airport's pretty much destroyed. So this is the real subject. This is the issue. And the only way we're going to deal with this is by working together. I was more optimistic before I fell asleep. And everybody, I want you to know that now is a good time to get on Twitter. It's usually a junk hole, but it is the best place to get up to the date weather information. And so the guy I recommend the most, cranky weather guy, um, he breaks everything down for you. He does a daily blog. The entire weather team is pretty fantastic. And when the shit hits the fan, we all work together pretty well. Um, so I, but I'm just saying that this next week and probably the next five weeks are going to be like the great big test of life. And so I need everybody to be ready. If you are anywhere near the coast and in these areas, you need to be being prepared now. You don't need to wait until they lock it in. You need to go get water. You need to go get batteries. Um, Technically, it was like, I have to admit, I have a crush on a reporter named Katya. She's super smart, super cool, super funny. She lives in New York. And I was saying, hey, you can come visit Texas during that week. Because, you know, as you're seeing here, this could be a major horrible situation like for example let's take it so like this is all flooded or this is all flooded saturated soils high river levels high water high lake levels i mean you got and so then you have florence and this is just the start and what was the at one point didn't i see a 910 so that would be like almost 180 mile per hour winds Somewhere around there. My math may be off a little, so don't shit your pants, buddy, if you get the basic idea, though. So, and then you have, right here, see, like, 922 pressure, that is in, and, like, no, right now, no one has a specific track on the forecast, but. 916 would put us at hold on one second and i'm sorry i just woke up like i said i didn't plan to sleep i try not to sleep uh because there's the next week is just gonna be crazy i mean it's gonna be wild and i i hate to tell i hate to re say this now but when i made my prediction before the season started when i made my prediction at the beginning of the year by looking at all the factors and how everybody's responding to everything i said I'm pretty sure we will get hit by two or more hurricanes in the United States. And now I'd put that number at four or five. And that I think we could lose 100,000 people this year. And so that prediction still stands. Because we have not responded to anything. And we are not paying attention to anything. So I'm not being a Debbie Doomer. But I'm saying it now is the time to wake up, dude. You got Florence headed for 110 million people on the East Coast, and a lot of them live real close to the coast. You got two more hurricanes right after it, and then wave after wave after wave after it. So now is the time to make plans. And the safest, it's like, here's your, who is flooding now? Here's your situation of who is flooding now. And remember that Wisconsin has been, the people in Wisconsin are telling me the flooding is much worse than they're telling people on the news and that that will trickle down. But this whole area is wet. 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 And so add multiple hurricane on top of that. This situation could get really nasty really fast and that we all know how shitty our power grid is. Apparently the $21 trillion we borrowed, we didn't spend jack shit of it on any actual really good infrastructure and so i will break down and it's just going to continue to rain in the areas that will be in danger for a hurricane hit and so technically this is not the video i wanted to make i have to be very careful with my words because a lot of people will be watching over the next two months whether or not my numbers reflect it so this is the rain stripe for the next five days so like i said this whole area is just getting inundated and so 
this is not the video I wanted to make. I'm trying to, like I said, just put out edited videos when I can to show y'all the larger picture. But yeah, it is it is seriously go time. And that at Thor News, I'm not going to, you know, it is different. This is like my fourth hurricane season. So I don't have time for negativity. Here's the deal. This is the Thor News deal. Accept it if you want to. If you don't, this is not the place for you. We have a situation. We have to prepare and plan now for worst case scenario. We have to think outside the box. A lot of meteorologists are using analogs or old storms to compare this stuff to. It, this is a new game. This is a new situation, new atmosphere, new jet stream, new volcano magma. We can't look to the past to prepare for the future. So that's why I'm saying if you are in the path of that hurricane, you need to start preparing and planning now, I would guess, to go west. Go stay with friends for a few days. <clears throat> and that you have to work in larger groups, like families, teams. Uh, and We have to stay positive. This might be some of the hardest one. Keep a sense of humor or we won't make it through this. And that's why on this channel, A, I'm not going to put up with negative negativity. And right now, this next week, I don't need talk of chemtrails, geoengineering, or that is not going to help the people who are looking here for information on what to do for their preparations. You are more than welcome to make your own videos about your own theories, but we are going to stay on target here for the next week. Okay? And like I said, if you don't like it, you can go somewhere else. You can make your own videos. We're going to do it differently this year. So, I'm going to keep this one short, and I will be talking to you guys a lot. I got six hours of sleep, which is like a million hours compared to what I've been getting. And so I just want you guys to know this situation is very real, and it is very dangerous. It doesn't matter which one you look at. The Euro is that the Euro has a double landfall hit. And yeah, I don't trust the models at all, but I trust the situation enough to know that for the same reason... I was calling multiple hurricane hits before the season started that, yeah, all those factors are still there and much stronger than expected is the, kind of like the key phrase. And so if you have a situation like this, it's just going to be very bad. One is the Euro, look, one is the Euro, one is the GFS. And they both seem to have locked in. Hey, remember, this almost looks like the process that carved out the cove. So, you're definitely on high alert. I'm not here to scare you. But what is also weird is the media seems to want to scare you about terrorists, school shootings, diseases, Donald Trump, Democrats. The media will scare you about anything. But then when they want to talk about hurricanes, they're like, oh, we don't want to scare people. We don't want to scare people about hurricanes. We just want to scare them about everything else. Why is that? I don't know. That is weird. And so, I'll be putting together my edited video, and notice, with those hurricanes bash, you know, like six days away from the East Coast, this could be much worse than Sandy. The New York Times doesn't have a mention of any weather, any hurricanes, any flooding, anywhere on their front page. It's all politics, all the time. So, they are not your friend. They are not here to keep you informed. They're here to distract you. I'm here to keep you informed. But we need to work together. You need to stop talking about politics for a week or two. It will wait. There's nothing you can do in a political sense in the next week other than vote. And you probably already know who you're voting for. <clears throat> so... I would give it up because if let's say this happens and you know a hundred thousand people die and New York City and all the areas are totally flooded out that's probably gonna hurt the economy bro so I will get in a better shape better mood as your planetary defense commander but this is the situation we're dealing with it is very real and it, we need to be taking it seriously, and we have to think outside of the box, okay? And 
this channel runs completely on your donations and i since i super appreciate everyone who's given me a chance to continue to do this because i at least get to feel like a superhero every day because this is what i've been doing trying to get you guys to come together to deal with this and so if you can make a contribution or donation i would super appreciate it i can tell you from last year once hurricane starting to hit me getting contributions or donations is much much harder and people are like why don't you get a job why would we need to pay you well dipshit let's see I called all this almost completely accuracy down to the minute not to the minute but I'm just saying that I've been doing an exceptional job I will continue to do an exceptional job I've been asking for the bare minimum and that's it if you like it fine if you don't get out of here I'm just saying all I'm here it's trying to provide you guys with proper information. Somebody's got to do it, at least until they take me out or we come together. So, I want everybody to stay cool. I'll get in a better mood, and I'll and I'll find some optimism somewhere. See, this is why I didn't want to go to sleep. <sighs> oh, my God, I woke up my body was wrecked. I went down to the ocean yesterday, and I practiced my karate stances in it. And that felt good. Thank you, Holly. She's a really cool person. I appreciate it. That's what I need is a trip to the ocean. She's a good friend. All right. So, like I said, Hawaii, you run the gun too. We will get more into this. Hey, but the date is coming out so fast. There's so much to keep up with that I will bring it to you as much as I can in the best fashion I can. So, everybody stay cool. I love you. We will make it through this. United we stand. Divided we fall and drown. God bless everyone. Stay cool.